Hello, in this tutorial I want to show how we can add some doors to our room and instead of just randomly scattering them around the bottom layer of our room, I decided it would be more useful if we have an actor that we can drag around and wherever it overlaps with our uh, level it uh, creates a door. And I also created this one which is uh, the wall remover which you can use to remove some walls from our uh, room. This is handy if you want to add an extension to your room uh, manually and if you want to do some fine tuning and if we were to change this to also work for our floor we could use this to for example add a connection to a cellar or to a stairway. I um, also created this uh, corridor over here that we can drag around and if it connects with our room it creates a doorway. So what we now have is the ability to uh, actually leave our room instead of being stuck inside one single room. Um, no. In order to implement this we are going to open up our PCG uh, graph. and. Uh, and in here we are going to add a new node between our wall spawning, uh, wall stacking and our wall spawning, which is an intersect with tagged actor geometry node. What this node does is it finds all actors with a certain tag and if the static mesh component of it overlaps with our points, it returns the points. If it doesn't overlap with those point, points, it removes them from the points. So if we hook this one up to our points and we're going to add, uh, we have to uh, set the text that we want to track and we can do this here in the actor text and we want a door replacer as our tag but you can use any one that you find fitting. We also want to set the tracked actor text to be the same text because uh, if you don't do this, we have to manually refresh our PCG room tutorial or drag it around. And um, since this can get a little bit annoying, if we place the tag over here, then it will also update the this node whenever we drag one of those tags or uh, one act, an actor with this tag around. And that's quite uh, it's a little bit more user friendly. So I would suggest you also plug the tag in here. Now if we hit save, what we would expect and which is actually working because I have this one in the world and this one over here, uh, let's quickly move this. Um, <laughs> what we would expect is that all, all of our walls get removed because uh, in here we filter, we look all for all actors with this tag and if the points overlap with this actor then we are going to uh, return the points. But since we don't have a single actor with this tag, we should remove all walls since there is no actor to overlap. And But as we can see here, this is not the case. We have uh, all walls despite uh, us expecting all walls to be gone. Now, what uh, how we can fix this is by adding at least one actor with this tag into the world. So if we add a cube and then search for actor tags and we're going to add an actor tag to it. Make sure that you add an actor tag and not a component tag. So add an actor tag and this is our door replacer. Now all our walls disappear and if we increase the scale of this to 5 and 5 we can see that this uh, spawns the wall again where we overlap and removes all other walls. Um, since we don't want to make sure that we have at least one of those actors in the world, because if I remove this again, uh, all re uh, walls respawn, we can simply uncheck this checkbox, which make it so that uh, we have the opposite behavior. So this returns all the points that don't overlap with the actor. And this works regardless of at least one actor existing in the world. And to get the points that do overlap with our actor, we can use our difference node again, or the difference node. 
and find the difference between all points and those points. Now, we are going to need to spawn our doors here and on all other points, so the points that don't overlap with our actor, these points, we are going to still spawn our walls. So we are going to rename this to door. And we change this mesh in here to a door mesh. And since we have two indexes, uh, one for the windows and one for the walls, we are going to remove the second one that we copied over from this node, so the walls, because we only want to spawn doors. Clear this and let's remove this. Now, if we go in our level and drag the cube again into our world, add the actor tag, tag, um, actor tag, um, door replacer. What we should see is that uh, this actor now uh, places doors wherever it overlaps. Uh, let's try to find a spot, and yes, it does. So. So now we have a door here, and now we have a door here, and now we have a door here. And yeah, that's pretty much all the magic there is. However, uh, optimally we would set some settings for the static mesh actor so it doesn't appear in game and has no collision and doesn't tick. And to do this, we are just going to create a new actor. So if we go into a room tutorial folder and delete this one, uh, yeah, was delete. And we are going to create a new actor. Then what we have to pay attention to is that we don't spawn an actor, <laughs> that we don't pick an actor, a normal actor, because a normal actor does not have a static mesh by default. And the intersect with tag actor geometry nodes needs uh, use a, a static mesh actor, which has a static mesh by default. And the static mesh that this actor has, the static mesh actor, is used to find the uh, intersection volume. Um, so we pick the static mesh actor instead of the actor. If you really want an actor to use an actor, then you can change the intersect with tag uh, actor geometry node to do so, but by default, we stick to the uh, static mesh actor. Uh, we call this BP door. Now, if we open this up, then we can uh, do our things. In here, the first thing we're going to do is we add a static mesh to this, which is just a cube. We increase the scale to five and five. And we are going to set the material of this to be the red material. The red material is something that uh, comes by default with PCG, but you can use any wireframe material that you have. Something that you just make sure that it's see-through because it's easier to work with. Um, in case you don't see the red material in here, uh, make sure that if you press on this wheel, uh, that the check show engine content checkbox is checked and the show plugin content. Now, the other thing we are going to need to do is add an actor tag to this actor. So we go to tag. Again, make sure that you add an actor tag and not a component tag. And we're going to change this to, uh, to our door replacer. Now, we are going to go to the collision. And we disable this because we don't need collision for this to work. And, well, we don't need collision. And we are going to set the visibility to be hidden in game and also the actor hidden in game. And then one last thing, we uncheck the start with tick enable tick box, uh, checkbox because we don't need this one to tick. Maybe you need it, then you can check it again, but for our purpose right now, we don't need it. And if you're going to our level and direct this around, 
we should now be able to have an actor that we can uh, place in our uh, level to a uh, door to our room. And we can also uh, duplicate this, uh, duplicate and call this wall replacer, wall replacer. And in here we are going to change the actor tag, actor tag, uh, tag to be not door replacer, but wall remover, for example. Compile, save, and then we can uh, set it up in our PCG graph so that in addition to this, we first filter out the tag uh, wall replace, uh, wall remover, uh, wall remover, retract the wall remover, and in here we are going to uh, only import those into here. Uh, make sure that keep inside points is off uh, because we want to remove the walls and this works for us. Uh, so we, this gives us all points that don't overlap with our wall remover and we want them to check those if they overlap with a wall. So we also plug this into the source. And now what we should have is our door replacer being able to replace doors and our wall remover, wall replacer should be able to replace some walls. Now we can make this larger if we want uh, to uh, 10. And yeah, that's the result we have. So now we can place doors into our room and in the next one i will show you how you can create this corridor that automatically places a door wherever we drag it and that also snaps to uh, uh, and that also snaps to the world and i will also make it that this one snaps to the world this makes it a little bit easier to line up uh, the corridor with the uh, building and generally if you have multiple rooms it would also get uh, easier if you have a similar tile size. Now I will do this in the next door because we, I still have to fix a little bug whereby the wall of the corridor doesn't get removed but the door gets placed and then you can't walk past through. But as I, as I said I will post a new tutorial as soon as I fix this. Yep. Yeah, so bye and hope I see you in the next one.